Welcome inside. Good morning, everybody. Um, today I'm going to do, I had a nice uh, video that I started with the sacred secretion, um, and it ended up going way long, and um, also I felt that there was a lot of jibber jabber, so I'm going to try to get a little more direct here. And today I'm going to, uh, so it's it's in the morning, I just dropped off Asia at school, and <clears throat> um, getting a little bit of a late start, but uh, I just want to show you where I start with the sacred secretion. Now I'm on my third day of of completely water fasting and even uh, closer to an absolute fast where there's less water and for me that just works out well. Last night I watched a, a wonderful video that uh, John St. Julian did uh, back in December about some new experiences that he's learned over the years uh, from his first uh, Sacred Secretion video. So I, I thought it, it wise that I kind of chuck the old one out and just show you uh, in part what I do uh, in a couple parts here I'm just going to show you uh, the actual kind of routine, I guess, um, that I start out with. So obviously this is, uh, you know, my bedroom, and uh, in the morning, as soon as I wake up, as I'm going from my deep sleep into, you know, ideally earlier in the morning when it's dark, but uh, I'll wake up, whether it's my wife getting me up or my child or me just waking up at 5.30, 6 o'clock, whatever it is, and I'm still in that kind of coming out of that delta into theta, I'll turn on this music. So now I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to start walking around a little bit and show you what I actually do as part of the routine um, in the detox and sulfagio music and, and getting into those certain brain waves. We'll talk about it a little bit more uh, that, uh, again, John does so eloquently. Um, but I'm going to try to show you, uh, I've got a, an idea of how to do my videos, which is just going to be kind of off the cuff. And that's how I am with people in general because everybody's so different. It's so hard to do a video and say, you know, uh, to reach really everybody. You just got to be real and, and hopefully it touches them and know that you're able, you can be flexible with uh, what you do. So anyway, this is my, so when I get up uh, in the morning um, and I'm still kind of half asleep in that theta mode and uh, getting uh, ready, I guess, for the, the uh, beta, which is where most of us are at, I start listening to the self edge like I have here, which is 963 frequencies, and uh, we'll start with that. So I'll give you a quick little tour, okay? All right, hang on. <clears throat> so anyway, this is a uh, this is a uh, one of the many uh, good self edge uh, sounds. So you have the frequencies in the background, the good uh, good soothing music, and then now we'll go into. <clears throat> This is part of the Gerson uh, protocol that I have used uh, for years off and on when I felt I needed it. Uh, we can discuss that a little bit more in the future. Um, it's very powerful. This is uh, the coffee, the Gerson coffee uh, therapy. And I also add uh, probiotics into it, iodine, selenium, methionine, and some other things that are critical for good health. And for you, you know, you folks that are worried about uh, enema and, and seemingly how disgusting that is or whatever else, Trust me that when you're in dire need and you need a, a really good detox, um, there are many ways to do it, but this can be a very powerful way. And if you look at the Gerson site, you'll see how amazing and powerful that is. And when you're talking about doing this versus, let's say, having prostate cancer or having um, uh, bowel cancer, just colon cancer or, or anything else like that, and this uh, has been shown to work so powerfully, um, not just in those uh, situations, but in in uh, detox, whole body detox in general. You'll see that on the Gerson site and, and throughout the history of that for the last 90, whatever it's been, 80, 90 years. Okay, so that's one of the things. So I almost always use the bathroom. So the bedroom was the first start of a meditation and then the bathroom will be another one because oftentimes that's where I have to perform the Gerson detox. So I just basically I lay in the tub here Lay on my back, lay on my side. If you're doing the Gerson uh, therapy, you generally speaking, you lay on your right side. Um, so you get the, the uh, coffee into the cells that, are, that trigger the liver to put off the glutathione, which is very powerful. Today, I have He Dreams in Me by Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard is just wonderful. I, I love his teachings, and uh, this is narrated by Brian Scott, and he does a great job. Um, so I'll cover that, of course, so nobody can see me in here, because you just never know. And um, I get down to the nitty-gritty in the tub, just the way I was born, 
and I've had some unbelievable, powerful, beautiful meditations during the sacred secretion period and just in general. Uh, enough to bring you to tears when you can get down to a place where all you feel is that unconditional love. That, uh, that is really what it's all about when you're talking about the sacred secretion and awakening. Uh, it's a, a power that uh, everybody deserves and unfortunately very few will have. So from here, uh, usually about halfway between the, or whatever the lecture is for an hour, um, I will go down to the sauna room turn that on and then come back up and uh, finish off the meditation up there and then by the time that meditation up there is finished in 20 minutes or so the sauna will be heated up and I'm able to go in there and do another I'll turn the solfeggio music on right there and one of my favorites is actually uh, I am Dyer's I am by Dyer's uh, that's wonderful. It's just it's beautiful music. It's powerful. Um, so I, I spend about 30-35 minutes in there and uh, that's extremely powerful. Um, great detox and um, I'll put the blindfold on like you see in the picture and um, I'm on my way for the day. I get out of there. I take a nice uh, shower with a, a cold shower end and I'm, I'm off for the day. So that's, that's the start. Hopefully that's uh, helpful. Give you an idea of what I do as far as the um, physical part of of meditations and, and how I do it, where I do it. I can't wait to actually, you know, think about, well, you know, we're in uh, in the Philippines especially, we're in 100 degree weather already, I can use this song, well, yeah, you, you know, you've got the I, the beauty of of the, well, and the environment and the heat, but I, I honestly can't wait to, to go sit on the Sulu Sea Beach, you know, by, uh, in Barbaza there, and or just go sit on the mountains behind, um, her mom, her house there in uh, Barbaza is just so beautiful. Uh, I just can't wait to go up there and do a little meditation or sit on the beach, do a little meditation, maybe out in the water. It's going to be pretty awesome. So anyway, that's it, guys. So thanks, and I'll try to do my best to get another part of the video out. So see ya.